The Navy Island administration said the matter of sustainable development remains high on its agenda and it has begun phase two of the Malcolm Gishad Recreational Pack just after its first year in operation. According to a press release, John Hanley, permanent secretary in the Ministry of Tourism on Nevis, gave details at a ceremony to celebrate the first anniversary. He's quoted as saying, we have already begun work to enhance the area adjacent to the pack where the restaurants and bars are located. This project, valued at US $3.3 million, is expected to be completed over the course of 16 months. Premier of Nevis, Honorable Mark Brantley, said he was happy about the expansion, saying, quote, I'm told we would have a boardwalk, we will have some development on the beach side, we will have more parking, and we will create here a mecca for entertainment, for leisure, for people to feel comfortable, and for people to enjoy themselves on the island of Nevis, and for that we are truly grateful, end quote. Mr. Hanley also explained that phase one of the project, which cost U.S. $2.7 million, has gone beyond expectations in what he called a successful first year of operations. It was announced that almost 40,000 persons have visited the park since its opening and the busiest days on the weekend. 23% were male adults, 37% were female adults, and 40% were children. The Nevis Pinney's Beach Park project was a collaborative effort between the NIA and the government and people of the Republic of China-Taiwan.